What nerve do you have when you come to sweet? Test the boycott, you'll be dead and baby. The sound champion can't be taken down. Fire in the sky, break down a little clown. Out of my mind, cause I praise the divine. There's no time for you bitches hands shine. Select the SE, I'm back on my grind. Abu Nas is the king of the rhyme. And once again, I'ma tell the veterans, hold it down, cause we ascend the heaven, you heard? So what's the word? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The High Ground. I am your host, the Baron of Cloud City himself, never a phony or a punk-ass macaroni, the Raylo Slapper, the Shield Devastator, the Black George Lucas, and the Last Jedi Hater. We got a bomb burner of a show for you tonight. And you want to know why we got a big show for you? Because obviously there's been a lot of stuff that's been going on in the world of Star Wars. First, up the deck is the one and only Kelly Marie Tran. You know, the iconic and moronic Rose Tico. Now this is for all you John Soyega fans out there. You need to really listen to this. Now, I've been MIA for a minute. Like I said, trying to continue on getting my health up the par again. And um, I've been peeping out some stuff from my favorite video YouTube bloggers. And getting the news, like I always do. But there was two in particular that kind of stood out for me in the last couple of days. And that's, once again, my brother Doomcock. And my other brother, Opinion. Now, Opinion, I just got finished watching not too long ago. And my God, my brother pretty much dropped the science on that. If anything, I'll um, put a link to his page uh, where he discusses about the Kelly Marie Tran. And he really laid it down beautifully. And I I told him, I, I need to make mention of your video in mine. When I'm doing mine. Because I can't even articulate it as well as he did. But the premise is the same. Just like in Doomcock's video. Because Doomcock Doomcock pretty much said exactly what was in my head to say. You know? So I'm pretty much going to relay it more or less here. Mark with a C. Did an excellent job as always. You know? And um, I said to myself. Self. What's your take on Kelly Marie's New York Times article? Well, she made a hell of an effort to pretty much tell everybody that it wasn't you, it was me, in a nutshell. All the heat she was taking behind that bullshit character, Rose Tico, fighting to save the ones we love. So now, deleting the Instagram the real cause, according, according to her, in so much, in so many ways, is that it wasn't your words. I was, I was stupid. And I, I just started to believe in them, and I was stupid enough to do that. And then she went through a whole tirade about how she was marginalized and this and that when she was growing up and being Vietnamese, and it was hard for a woman of color. And... Okay, I mean you're pouring your heart out to the New York Times, so obviously. I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to play you like you're stupid, Kelly Marie. All I'm saying is that I saw that interview on Jimmy Kimmel just before The Last Jedi came out. And boy, oh boy, you didn't seem marginalized. You didn't seem like, you know, you had a care in the world. You was in Star Wars. And you was hearing all the good press about it. All the behind the scenes that this could be the greatest Star Wars of, 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 of ever, ever known. And then you go on interviews talking about, well, I never really heard of Star Wars until I, you know, was chosen for the part. But I, I, I binge watched them and I caught up to it and I loved them. I did it. I mean, you, you went through the whole, the, the whole steps, you know, to try to let the fans know that. You was in on you was in on the action and you was you know all for the Star Wars and the and, and you so happy you got the part because really that was your first major 
studio part. He was doing little bullshit indie stuff. Little little shows or what have you. To be honest, I ain't never heard of your ass until you got the part. And for some reason, which I was so glad to have I I I I I was thinking about, I never, you know, profiled you or tried to look up who is this Kelly Marie ch- chick. No, I just accept it from face value. All right, you got you got the part. They hired you for the for the part of Rose Tico, so it must be an important part. It must be a part of significance. It must be a part that when Ryan Johnson hired you for it, you was gonna make a great impact on Star Wars. Yeah. So, but that was before the hammer dropped. <laughs> And then Jar Jar Binks looked at you and said, Oh, you so bomb bad. <laughs> and Jar Jar Binks can't even stand your ass. <laughs> oh, Pete, you so. <laughs> You're worse than Jar Jar Binks. And, and myself, personally, I didn't even think Jar Jar was all that bad. In the prequels, I mean, yeah, he was annoying at times, but not on the level that your ass was. <laughs> your, your character was a piece of trash. Useless. From beginning to end, you're a fucking security officer that tases janitors. And then you took the janitor, the black janitor, thanks a lot, Ryan, the black janitor, or JJ, actually. Thanks, JJ. You took the black janitor on a, on some PETA, you know, uh, 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 whatever mission, the, 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 the animal rights activist mission. You went on the animal rights activist mission Screwed that whole shit up. Yeah, you freed the animals, but the slaves caught hell behind that shit. You had literally no use in the movie. None. Even even Finn in the movie kept looking at you like, all right already, will you calm the fuck down? (laughs) And this was in the script. But, you're on the New York Times now, and you're pretty much just pouring your heart out. It's all good. All I'm saying is that whining for sympathy points, are you? The film is 10 months old at this point. We hate the character. Of course, there's pockets of people that targeted you, Kelly Marie, unfairly, and I agree with that. That should never have happened. If anything, stay on the point that It's not you, Kelly. It's the character you portray. Unfortunately, Ryan Johnson fucked you over. I'm sorry to tell it to you, mama, but he did. And the fact that when he talked about the creation of the Rose Tico character, and Kelly, you need to listen to this because this would really piss you off. He made a character, as he described Rose Tico, as a type of character that... Doesn't really fit in Star Wars, but it's somebody that I thought was interesting, so I'm putting her in there. This is out of Ryan Johnson's mouth. But of course, since you're, you know, not an A-list celebrity, a B-list, not even a D-list celebrity, you're new. You're brand new to the game. And somebody said, hey... We want you to audition for Star Wars. You put your ring in the hat with uh, a couple of... uh, How many other chicks? And, you know... You get in there. You know, you go for what you know. And for whatever reason... They hired you. You really want to know what those reasons were? Kathleen Kennedy's agenda. Force diversity. You know, because there wasn't enough Asian blacks... Latinos, Indians, Jewish people, you know, Arabs. There wasn't enough of those people in the film. We only had white people and Billy D. That's it. And I, we was fine with that. Because we didn't look that race when we was growing up with the story. We just loved the characters. So, you know, it wasn't until the prequels came... Samuel Jackson was in there. Jimmy Smith was in there. But it didn't even feel forced. It was all part of the story. They hired actors 
that George Lucas created that he felt was good to be in the story. If they happen to be black, fine. If they happen to be Latino, fine. But he had a competent story to tell behind that. Yeah, you could say George Lucas is not the best director and writer and this, that, whatever, but his stories, it feels and looks like Star Wars stories. Because it comes from the mind of the creator himself. So guess what? He gets a pass. Everybody else? If you knew that you didn't have a women protagonist, or as Kathleen Kennedy likes to say, women can't uh, uh, identify with Luke Skywalker. Well, not from all the women I heard from. They absolutely love that man and can identify with them, with him. And Princess Leia, especially Princess Leia. She was everything a girl could aspire to. She was in the movie. So what? You, you know, what? Carrie Fisher wasn't enough? So now it's strong women overload with diversity mixed in. Of course, that's cool, but that's still not getting to the crux of the real problem that we're having with your character. Not against you. You just happened to got the short end of the stick and got a character that was pretty much the worst character in all of Star Wars. They even beat out Jar Jar Binks. We look at Jar Jar fondly like, man, I miss the good old days when Jar Jar was stepping on poop. <laughs> That was some good shit right there. It was, it was, it was, it was annoying, but eh, not as annoying as this bitch flying the thing, nigga, <laughs> crashing the fin. Wow! What did you do that for, Rose? I was trying to sacrifice myself to, to, to stop them. I tried to save you, dummy. Ah. The fuckery in this film is amazing. And you wonder why when you turn on Netflix, The Last Jedi ain't nowhere to be found. It ain't even either on the recommended. You know when you scroll down Netflix, it has top recommendations. They don't even put that shit in there. <laughs> Trending now, no, nowhere to be found. Hot topics, no show. That shit is still at the bottom of the barrel. Even on Netflix. <laughs> ain't nobody fucking with it. So obviously, if ain't nobody fucking with that, they're not fucking with you, Rose Tico. But Kelly Marie, I'm, I'm just here to tell you. You wrote that whole article to virtual signal the fuck out of yourself. I won't be marginalized, and I'm, 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 I'm standing tall and proud of it. You know what? If the, the whole fucking shit was a success and everybody loved that Rose Tico bullshit character you had, that New York Times article would never even be played. You know, the time that w would be to play it would be when everything was successful and everybody loved your character. Then you can go on there and say, you know what? I was marginalized as a kid and, you know, I had to struggle and, 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 and read. But I love the fact that I got this part of Star Wars, even though I don't know shit about the lore or the characters or the history or the, or, or the mythology. I just was happy to get a job. And, and the fans accepted me and I wanted to show my love to the fans but I knew I had a long road to get to where I got to go there that's when you were supposed to do that article not when everybody hates that fucking Rose Tico character and we're not talking about you as the actor like I said you just happened to end up with the, with the worst character ever congratulations now all of a sudden you're getting harassed like I said, we talked about that dumbass character since the, the day the movie came out. You had your Instagram up and running. But you're a grown-ass woman. My thing is that I told you in my, in my earlier videos. I'm not, you know, sitting up here coddling to you because you feel, you know, upset. The, the, the internet is a brutal beast. You got to have thick motherfucking skin to mess with the internet. Whether you on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat... Blow back, you know, broke back, whatever. You gotta have thick skin. You ain't got thick skin, you can't fuck with them. They ain't fucking with you. If you know that they know that you can't handle shit, they're gonna keep riding you even further. That's how the beast rocks. So you gotta be one up on them. And it's like somebody say, ah, oh, fuck that Kelly Marie. Nah, fuck you, kid. I'm getting money. You know what I'm saying? Your broke ass still at your mama's house. Go the fuck out of here. Holler. 
That's how you're supposed to get down. So now you, you know, you got all bent out of shape because people kept hammering at the character. They just happened to mention your name in passing. I know you was hurt by that. Shoot, what person can't look at a whole bunch of tweets of people just ramp, running this character to the ground? You got to feel some type of way. You was the one that portrayed that character. So y'all two are inter uh, uh, intimately linked. Okay? Now, sometimes people can't, you know, separate the character from the person. But you're still talking about a character that you, Kelly Marie, portrayed. The first thing you should have did was get on the phone to Ryan Johnson. Hey, fuck boy. Did you know that this character is the worst character of all time? Worse than Jay Jark and being to somebody? I don't know who the fuck that is. I didn't watch Star Wars. <laughs> Where is this coming from? That's what, that's what you should have said to him. But you know, Ryan Johnson, he was on his own bullshit. Because we was getting on his ass real hardcore. So he had his own problems. But with that being said, Kelly Marie, that article was nothing but a fluff piece to just boost up your ego. Your fragile ego. And to really just make the point home that, look, you Asian, no matter what you do. You know, I know you tried to get on Hollywood about how they marginalize the things. Look, you're Asian. All right. The truth was Kathleen Kennedy propped your ass up. Kathleen Kennedy, Ryan Johnson, all the Disney dickheads that you screaming on, but you got paid from. That look, we had to have diversity higher. We got the black man, the Latino man. We got the white girl. Might as well have an Asian because we were trying to get the Asian market. Sorry, baby. China, China, China saw the bullshit a mile away. They knew you was the worst character ever. You was making Asians look bad. You were Asian. You was making Asians look bad. You was making your own people look bad. And you know what China said? Get shit out of here, man. I ain't got no time for that. How long has it been in the theaters? A week. And that was a week too long. Just like that. Just now they had to deal with the fact that back in North America... Nobody wasn't really feeling your character. Whether you was Asian, Malaysian, Indian, South American, Portuguese, Vietnamese, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> you, you, car, you crap, you garbage, you trash. And it's all Ryan Johnson's fault. So put the blame where the blame belongs. Make sure you'll never be in a movie of his again. Because he likes creating characters that don't have no business being in the film, but he just likes to see him in there. That's Ryan. <laughs> From the beta male cuck society. But that's not, my, that's not my problem. That's your problem. So now, moving on from you, just learn the lesson. Just learn the lesson that it's not you, it's your character. You know, you don't have a thick skin, don't play in the jungle. You're a grown-ass woman, turn your shit off. And live about your life. Unless people are harassing you in real life, then yeah, you do something about it. Get the police, slap them idiots up in jail. Yeah, there's, there's a line. You can't and shouldn't be crossed like that. You know, you're a human being, and you deserve to have respect and this, that, whatever. Yeah, true. But if you know that we're talking about a character, and you want to marginalize that part of it to boost up your ego, to make a fluff piece. The virtual signal the fuck out of any and everything. And just to, to, just to uh, let the people know that I have my platform. Now I'm using it. All right. Then good for you. I don't give a fuck about it, but good for you. So moving on to your boy. The soy, the soy latte drinking. Man baby posting. Beta male cuck of the year. Ryan Johnson. All the news that was going around for the past week or so about him, his trilogy being canceled. Shit, I told you that months ago. I told you he wasn't going to get his trilogy. I did it. Yeah, you want to listen to me. Abu Nas, you said that a long time ago, my brother. But why didn't I listen? It's okay, man. You was falling for the hype. One of the reasons why, you know, I caught all that flack on Twitter was I was playing these people. I was, call I was calling them out. 
I was calling him out even on Ryan Johnson's feed. That your boy is not getting the trilogy behind this bet this mess of a movie. He's not getting the trilogy. They arguing with me back and forth on Twitter. Oh, that's a lie. He definitely got a trilogy going. And this that that motherfucker's on Twitter more than what he's supposed to be doing the prep work for the trilogy. Is he supposed to be writing for it? He's not doing episode nine. Shit, he already fucked up eight. Now they got JJ up there rushing to, you know, to try to make some sense out of this shit, but it ain't gonna work. I saw uh, uh, a set photo of of uh, of them with, you know, Paul Finn and two uh, two black people on the ledge and with alien horses. Poor Chewbacca looked like he didn't even want to fucking be there. <laughs> he just looking like. I'm just a prop. I'm just a prop just being put up there just for the fans to get nostalgic over. I hope it's working because I'm getting paid for it. But I don't want to be in this shit. You know? And it just looks so eh, mediocre. But then again, look, you can't fix this shit with one movie. And if you can do it in two movies, maybe. But you got to have George Lucas running the show. You got to do something. Because leaving it up to J.J. and him alone and Captain Kennedy getting a little producer credit, ain't nothing going to shine. Because right now, Kathleen Kennedy, you know, she got to go talk to the shareholders of Disney, you know, on the 29th. Because that's where their fiscal year ends. So she's out of here by the end of September. And you know what Bob Iger's going to say as soon as Kathleen comes in the door? Kathleen? Hello, Mr. Iger. Uh, hello to all the shareholders here. It's so good to shut the fuck up. Yeah, just shut up. Take a seat. You know what the quarter earnings are? Now you can speak, Kathleen. I I, I I don't know what the quarter earnings are. I didn't get a chance to look at it. Yeah, I know you didn't because you were too busy packing your shit trying to fly out of here under the radar. Well, we caught your ass. It's all right, mama. But let me give you some advice about what you could do post your career. You see, we got J.J. filming right now. We told him to throw everything but the kitchen sink because you, Ryan Johnson, you both fucked up completely. So if episode nine doesn't work, even though your ass is out of here, you know, with the minimum severance package that we told you you was going to get because you're not getting shit extra. I'm going to make it my personal mission because the IP will be dead after that. If it fails, the IP is dead. All that money we wasted. Nobody's not going to the theme parks. Nobody's not buying the toys. Nobody's not watching the streaming. Reason why? You want to know why nobody's not watching the streaming? Uh, why, Mr. Iger? Because of your stupid ass selling it to Turner Broadcasting. You sold all six episodes. You told them they could have it until 2025. We trying to get our shit up and running. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> How did George Lucas come to hire your dumb ass? We, as a matter of fact, we the ones that's stupid enough to actually let you run it. I didn't know. But no, no, please. God knows. Please. Now we're stuck. So all of our hopes is on episode nine. <laughs> For the love of God, we got to make this a success. Jar Jar, Jar Jar, they might as well call him Jar Jar. J.J. Abrams is trying to lobby to me to make it two movies. I don't even know we got enough money for that. But you just bought Fox. Oh, you a smart motherfucker now, huh? Yeah, we bought Fox. But we got to conserve our money for all the important shit. You know, the shit that you didn't fuck up. But we don't got that type of money to make two movies. But we may have to if we're going to salvage this shit. But if this thing fails, Kathleen, you are going to see me again. I will? Mm-hmm. When you're at your house and I knock on the door, you're going to say, Who is it? You know, like you always do. And I'm going to say, 
It's Robert Iger, chairman of Disney. You're going to open up your door thinking that you're probably, you know, I'm, I'm going to ask you for your, your job back. I'm going to pull out a Desert Eagle 45. And I'm going to look you dead in the face. And I'm going to say, before you die, my friend, see the Lord. Reach out and touch him now and believe in his word. Confess your sins to him. Bob Iger's going to murder you now. Before you die, before you die, see the Lord. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> because it's going to be the nuclear option at that point. The IP will be dead. People are going to be losing their jobs, losing their minds, losing their sanity. They're going to be blaming every and anybody they can find for what the fuck happened in the five years that we bought Lucasfilm, that we was going to make all this money, and then the IP was dead. Point your fingers at Ryan Johnson, Kathleen Kennedy, Pablo Hidalgo, Chuck Wendy, blocking his bitch, and deedless actor Ray Prince Jr. All four of these assholes, from the start of The Last Jedi to all the bullshit we dealt with on Twitter, YouTube, everywhere else. You didn't understand how the real fans felt. You listen to these casual fans, the progressive, social justice warrior wannabe fans. And thought that you had an agenda that you can push, that we were supposed to accept. But you fucked up. Big time. What you did with Luke Skywalker is beyond unforgivable. And no matter how many ways you tried to justify what you did with him, it was the catalyst that sent this whole IP on a downward spiral. Kelly Marie Trant, you just got caught up in it. Nobody's not leaving out of here unscathed behind this. It's not your fault. Just blame the people that hired you and learned a very valuable lesson. You can't, you, you can't escape mediocrity and terrible writing in a, in a movie of this caliber. It will come and haunt you to the grave. Go ask your boy Ryan Johnson. I'm sorry I'm not on Twitter because you know I would have had a field day being on his, on, on, on his page. You know, I hope some of my Twitter people is on there too. Just laughing it up. And I'm still trying to find a way to get in through the back door. Especially before episode 9 comes out. But at the end of the day, these are my thoughts on everything that I've been listening to for the past, you know, week and a half. And like I said, I'm just adding my two cents, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and, and, and I'm so proud to just still be focusing on the boycott because this is where we're going to stick it to them i've already made my peace i already made my peace that i'm done with everything <clears throat> there's no way you can save it i don't hear nothing about george lucas having a hand in anything right now i'm not reading any articles that says george lucas is involved in the process I'm not seeing any articles behind that. I'm not even looking at any video YouTubers saying that it's actually happening. So I'm assuming y'all was trying to bullshit us, as always. Doesn't matter. Like I said, wait and see attitude. I saw the first picture of the set. No bueno. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters on Twitter and YouTube, let's get this shit cracking. This is your host, Abu Nas, giving love and respect to everybody within the sound of my voice. Press like if you like this video, which I do hope you like this video, because I'm being honest and open as much as I can. For those that's hating on your brother, you know, because I know you suckers from Twitter, you know, was glad to see me out, but you like to pop in and see my videos and see what I'm up to, don't worry. I'm not out of the fight yet, bitch. So if you hate the video, keep hating it. Keep downvoting, bitches. I love it. Love the hate. But back to my friends. Like I said, like and subscribe if you like the video. Because I'd be happy to have you with me. And I'm happy to have more people of like-minded thinking 
that we just gonna we are gonna carry the day, just like we did with Solo. Nobody's not gonna win except us, where it really counts. So with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm so glad that you hung out with me. Um, leave comments below because you know I love all your comments. I, I absolutely can't get enough of it. it. Just fuels me to keep doing what I'm doing. Sorry I stayed away so long, just trying to get everything back in, into the swing of things, but I'm back. And like I said, we're going to keep getting stronger and bigger than ever. Check out my music wrap up, you know, talking about your girl Kelly Marie. And that's going to be dropping soon. So, uh, as a matter of fact, when I upload this, it should be ready too. So check both of those videos out. You're going to get a kick out of the music wrap up. But in any case, I'll catch you all later. One love, and I'll see you soon.